All right, guys, million dollar question. This is this is the one that people always come down to. After they've listened and they've absorbed your knowledge and they understand that they have to treat people right and they actually have to have a passion for programming, they say, all right, I got all that, but I can only learn one or two languages at a time. Where do I focus? Uh, well, it depends what you want to do. I mean, if you want to do iOS apps, obviously you've got two choices. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to do Android apps, if you want to do websites or OS programming, it depends on what you want to do, and that kind of narrows it down. And then, uh, but how much of that is is driven by where the money is? I mean, we all know we, we've all we've all read the reports. The money is in iOS, and you may be yeah. the greatest Android developer of all times, but you're going to get really bummed out when your masterpiece of an app, which connects people to all the knowledge in the world, is outsold by the Fart app. <laughs> right? Sure. I mean, that's, oh, that's depressing. Well, but do you want to do... Flappy bird. Do Flappy you want to do bird. coding that you enjoy, or do you want to do it just for the money? I mean, that's a question oh, okay, for okay, everybody wait, individually. Wait a minute. Is that, that's a straw man. Lou, yeah. Lou. I mean, yeah, it's good to say I want to do what I want to do where my passion lies, but at some point you're taking care of the family, right? Yeah, I think I think it, it's two things. Like, I think there's one part of it where you, you know, if you're still in college, you don't have a family and you're targeting something specific. You know, what I was telling a bunch of people in the chat room was, you know, if you start to do side projects and you start to really enjoy them and you become really good at them, sometimes it's those are niche markets, the areas where you can go and make a ton of money because not a lot of people do that work and you're actually really good at it. So if you're the best Android developer, you can you can charge a company like... I don't know, some company in New York City that wants an app for their retail store, a lot of money to do to build Android app, even though they're offering it for free. So, I mean, even though the quote unquote money is in the in the iOS, it's because they make money on selling the apps. It doesn't mean you can't make money developing for other platforms. Right. So I think, yeah. But at the end of the day, it is about feeding the family. So if you have a family, sometimes stability is where it's at. And that's why working for a company that's going to give you that steady paycheck, you know, if you have a specific skill is going to help out. But at the same time, I understand what you're saying. I yeah. mean, you, you don't want to burn yourself out making an app yeah. you absolutely loathe just because it's paying the bills. Yeah, so this anybody who does programming probably has a set of languages that they are familiar with and enjoy. So you don't have to pick just one. Like, if you love Fortran, you're probably going to have a really hard time <laughs> finding a job. But hopefully there's something else you also like that... <laughs> they're hiring for. Right. And, and you know what? Th this is something that's been recognized by large companies. Google, Microsoft, and Apple, yeah. they all do that part of your time you spend on another project, right? It's, it's a refresher. It's, it's saying, okay, yeah, we understand that not all of you may be absolutely in love with the projects that we've assigned you, so we want to give you 10%, 15%, 20% of your time to do something you love or something you want to learn. It, that's, that's sort of the, the institutional simulacrum of doing the thing you love, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, Microsoft does this thing where they have this thing called the Maker Garage or the Garage where, and then they have this hackathon coming up in a couple of weeks where they offer these opportunities for you to really shine and put up your project somewhere and advertise what you've done outside of your normal job. Like people who are, you know, I work on CRM, people are doing like Cortana integrations and building, you know, you know, building machines, you know, building drones and all these different things, using the 3D printers and all this different stuff. And, you know, it really kind of gets your juices flowing and gets you really interested in what you're doing, even though maybe your daily job is not the most exciting thing in the world. Keeps your, and plus, it keeps your knowledge up, too, around the industry standards and some of the new stuff that's coming out. That's really important for a company to do, because if you go to your daily job every day, day in, day out, like I know a guy who works at a financial institute who's a developer there, and he just hates his job because he goes in and it's the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. And he has to do the same exact thing and there's no, he can't move up, he can't move down, he can't move sideways. And so you get stuck. But if you have a company that offers the opportunities, it's definitely the place to be.